So those of you that have been a part of this community that we have here on this channel know that I am a big lover of dress watches. Their ability to be dressed up and dressed down and just the versatility that comes with it. And even for a guy that doesn't wear a suit every day, these watches just speak to me. What's going on everybody? My name is Teddy Baldessar. And in this video, we are going to be going through a great list of watches, dress watches under $1,000. All of the links to these watches will be in the description down below as always. Uh, but if I missed any of them, please be sure to leave comments down below about other options that you have in this price range. So guys, let's jump into it. First up, we have a brand that I think is just so underappreciated, and that is Mito. And we're gonna be looking at the Mito Barrancelli. Mito is just one of those mid-tier Swiss brands that I think just gets lost in the shuffle. But at their core, they make some great watches. This watch is personally my favorite and looks much more expensive than what the price tag shows. This watch retails just over $1,000. However, I have seen it nearly half the price of that on the used market. I would recommend going for their Heritage line and choosing the white dial option. However, the other offerings are just as nice. It has a 39 millimeter case, is 6.95 millimeters thick, and is automatically powered by a modified ETA 2892. Next, we have a much cheaper option, the Timex Marlin. This watch was recently reissued to bring back that cool Americana type look that we come to appreciate with Timex. The watch retails at just $200, and plays homage to the era with its 34 millimeter case, a smaller watch, but still suitable for many wrists considering it is a dress piece. It has an awesome looking dome crystal with a height of 10 millimeters and is a mechanical winding movement. A great affordable option for those that are looking for their first mechanical dress piece. So there are a couple powerhouse brands in this price range and one of them that I want to look at and a few watches from them are Tissot. And the first one that we're gonna be looking from them is the Tissot Everytime Automatic. These watches can be found for under $200, have several different dial options, and have a 40 millimeter case with a 11.6 millimeter thickness. They of course are automatically powered as well. The next watch we have from Tissot is the Tissot Visodate. This is a watch that I have owned in the past and I have nothing really bad to say about it. The watches can be found from $400 to $600 depending on the dial option. I've seen the white silver dial going for more than the black dial version. However, I think it also is the better looking one of the two. The watch has a 40 millimeter case, is automatically powered with an ETA 2836-2 movement and is 11.6 millimeters thick. Now we finally have the Tissot Belade. These are the priciest of this Tissot trio, but still can be found in the gray market for well under $1,000. These watches come in with a 41 millimeter case and are 9.84 millimeters thick and are automatically powered and also have 50 meters of water resistance, which is a nice touch for a dress piece. So going from one powerhouse brand in this price range to another, Hamilton. And the Hamilton we're gonna be looking at, I, I really considered the Jazzmaster, but I decided to go with the Intramatic. Why I decided to go with this one instead of the Jazzmaster was really just loving the simple and vintage inspired design. These watches can be found for around $500 to $600, have multiple size case options, and are automatically powered by an ETA caliber 2892. Have a 10 millimeter thick case and are also water resistant up to 50 meters. Now to another underappreciated brand, Frederick Constant. We're gonna be looking at their slimline. Despite being a lover of their moon phase option, that is a bit out of our price range for today. Instead, the automatic slimline. These watches can be found just around $500. Uh, the watch is automatically powered by an FC306, a Salita based movement, and the watches come in with a 40 millimeter case and are 8.5 millimeters thick. So we of course need to have Seiko on this list, and I thought about the Seiko Saab 033 and the 035, but I think those watches get a ton of love. Of course, they're great options if you guys wanna go for them, uh, but they've also been discontinued. So I wanted to give some love to another line within the Seiko lineup that I think deserves equal appreciation. And that line is the Seiko Presage line. Let's look at two of my favorite references from this line specifically. First is the Cocktail Time, the reference SRPB43. This watch is automatic. It is powered by Seiko's 4R35 automatic movement and has a 40.5 millimeter case and is 11.8 millimeters thick. It can be found just around three to $400 and is even water resistant 
up to 50 meters, which gives you additional flexibility. The other reference uh, for the Seiko Passage line that I wanted to look at is the SPB047. This watch retails just at $1,000, but can be found for less. It has a 40.5 millimeter case diameter, 12.4 millimeter thickness, and is powered by Seiko's in-house 6R15 movement. It is water resistant up to 100 meters and also has a sapphire crystal. Seiko with this watch is just doing what they do best, providing a lot of watch for the money. Now we have to look at a couple of German watch manufacturers and two of my favorites on this list. First, we have Stova. And the watch from Stova that I wanna look at is their Antia Classique. This watch is Bauhaus inspired and reminds me greatly of my Nomos. However, the brand manages to create a watch with its own charm. This watch retails just at $1,000 and has several different case sizes. These watches are powered by a myriad of different movements as well, depending on the case size you go with. But no matter which one you go with, you really can't go wrong with this watch. Simple, minimalist, but really well done. And last up, we have the Young Hands Max Bill. I have done a review on the Young Hands Max Bill Chronoscope. It's a watch that I've owned. I would definitely check out that video. I will link to it in the description if you want to do so. This watch comes in with a hand winding, a quartz option, but I wanna look at the automatic one. These watches retail at $1,000, but can be easily found for around $700 to $800. This watch has a 38 millimeter case, a beautifully domed crystal, and really has become the king of Bauhaus style in watches from being the design that Max Bill created. You have several different dial options for this watch, and it is 10 millimeters thick, and of course, is automatically powered. So guys, what do you think of this list? What watches did I forget? I'm sure I forgot some. Be sure to leave comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Also hit that bell icon so you know when I release content. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Slide into the DMs. I don't care. That's probably the best way to reach me personally. So go ahead and do that. Also check out our Patreon. Uh, we get access to live streams, private live streams with me every month, uh, discounts on our upcoming store and some really cool perks as well. And that all supports this watch community that we've created here on this channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.